Hi guys, it's Grace here again with another video to tell you a bit more about my weight loss journey in the hope that it will be able to help some of you with yours. Okay guys, today I wanted to do a follow-up to my walking for weight loss video. I want to thank you guys so much for all your support on that video. And if there's anyone who hasn't yet seen it, I will put a link in the description box so you can go ahead and have a look. Um, but I really wanted to come back and just um, speak about some of the things that people have asked me for a bit more information about um, in that video and just give you a bit more detail so that it can hopefully help some of you who are thinking about uh, increasing your walking as uh, a way to do more exercise in your weight loss journey. So in my walking for weight loss journey, I explained that because I knew that I was going to be making such a huge change in my nutrition, which is basically going from your sort of standard diet to eating plant-based, I knew that that process was going to be um, quite intense and I wanted to make sure that any other changes I was making in my life in terms of my nutrition and my exercise were sort of as minimal as possible. I was trying to make things as easy for myself as possible and I feel like I have continued to try and do that throughout this weight loss journey. So um, I chose walking as my way of um, getting my body moving, of adding more activity back into my life. And I feel like I'm really glad that I did that. And I'm I'm really glad that in doing that and being able to share that with you guys now, that I've been able to show that it is possible to still get results simply by looking at your nutrition and trying to um, optimise that as best as you can for your calorie deficit and your health, and upping your steps in a way that will assist you also in your weight loss journey. So for me, um, I wanted to show you some, some more of my sort of stats um, and show you that I probably had, you know, a very sort of typical step count to somebody who lived a quite sedentary lifestyle. I have gone back into my phone's records so that I can be able to show you that um, prior to me actually being intentional about wanting to increase my step count, I really was not paying attention to my steps. Um, I, I'm not even sure that I knew that the phone was actually counting the steps. Um, but being able to look back and see how many steps I was taking per day has been really interesting. So as you uh, look on the screen, you can see that, you know, in the years prior to me deciding to go on this weight loss journey, um, I feel like the amount of steps that I was taking per day was really random um, because it really wasn't intentional. It was just based on um, what I was doing that day. And also, because it wasn't intentional, if I had uh, a greater number of steps, I would not really have even taken note of that or even thought about what impact that was having on my body because I certainly wasn't thinking about what impact not moving was having on my body at the time. Um, but it, as you can see, when I finally decided to be intentional about my weight, about my health, um, 
there was an almost immediate change because I was being mindful, because I was being intentional. And you can see that I started really getting into a rhythm of uh, my walk, walking. And I feel like if you look at um, the data that I'm showing you in any kind of detail, you'll be able to see that I was focusing my walk in um, Monday to Friday. And like I say, um, this is because I was using the school run um, to do my walking. I knew that I had to take my son to school. I knew I had to collect him. And I knew that that journey was a walkable journey if I decided to. And that is what I decided to do. And so you can see a very consistent pattern of uh, me having upwards of 10,000 10, steps and more on that school run because the school is half an hour away from um, our home. So um, you can see that pattern and I hope, I guess, that that's also showing you that you don't necessarily have to be making um, 10,000 steps a day, seven days a week, because I feel like the more overwhelming a task feels, the less likely we are able to do it or be consistent with it. Because I didn't have the school run, at the weekend, I felt like if I gave myself the task of having to take 10,000 steps or more at the weekend, that that would put a pressure on me that I didn't want to have. And so I tried to, again, as I keep saying, be gentle with myself. And, you know, you can see that despite the fact that I just um, took steps organically at the weekend without uh, making sure that it was 10,000 steps or more, I still have been able to achieve um, such great results, obviously bearing in mind that I was making a lot of changes to my nutrition, but the walk-in has also had a significant impact. So I hope that you being able to see these statistics, being able to see that you can go from and um, being a person who doesn't really move all that much to being a person who, I mean, I consider myself to be quite an active person now. And I know that it is a work in progress. I continue to work at that and be intentional about that every day. Um, but the longer I have been doing it, the more it feels like my new lifestyle, the more it feels like the new normal. And so I'm encouraging anybody who's thinking that they're too far gone or it's just not possible for them to just make a start, really, and to take it gently, to take it um, slowly and steadily. And who knows where they'll be in six months time, in a year's time, in two years time. As long as I feel like as long as you're making progress each day, then you can kind of bank on um, over time, you will definitely see the results. And certainly I feel like that is what I have been seeing with the changes that I've been making. But yeah, I hope being able to see these uh, sort of statistics in black and white has been helpful to you. If it has been, please go ahead and give me a like. If you would like to keep hearing from me, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any other questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comments box. Um, I am still getting used to um, creating these videos. So let me know if you like this sort of voiceover format or if you prefer to see my face. Um, and I will, I will see you in the next one.